Well, Anya, it's almost Thanksgiving, and why don't you show everybody what you made? It's a turkey collar. A turkey collar. You're a prized turkey collar. People don't realize that about Anya. The best turkey collar in this whole neighborhood, right? Yep. All right, should we do a song all about calling turkeys? Mm-hmm. Just that turkey collar. If you want to catch a turkey, I'll tell you what you gotta do. Sit deep in the woods, and if you're good, you call the turkey to you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
You better adjust that a little more, that turkey call. Let's try again. Try again. If you want to catch a turkey, I'll tell you what you gotta do. Sit deep in the woods and if you're good, you call the turkey to you. <laughs> an owl for Thanksgiving. It would be too feathery. If too feathery and but, just not right. But I think he is a This is a bird. If you want to catch a turkey, I'll tell you what you gotta do. Sit deep in the woods and if you're good, you call a turkey to you. Go on, 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 what? We call a turkey Tom. Yeah. Oh, our turkey call is spot on. Yeah. All right, we got a big fat turkey. Now that we caught the turkey, I forgot what we called him for. If you really want a turkey. It's better to call the store. It's better to call the store. <laughs> well, look at all those turkeys up there. I think they're geese. Nope, those are sandhill cranes going south for the winter. Hi, Mr. Marty fans, Ma Gilmore here on this Thanksgiving day. As you can see, we're outside for maybe the last day I can go outside without snow and ice, but it's a beautiful day. And I am so thankful, so very thankful all of, for all of the blessings that I have had this year. I've had so many little blessings being able to walk, be able to breathe. What blessings have you had? They don't have to be big, enormous things that have come into your life, but look at the small, little things. They are just as much a blessing as a big one. What have you gotten today? What have you gotten this year? Did you look at a beautiful sunset or a moon with a haze over it? Did you look at the leaves, the color of the leaves that we had this fall? Those are the blessings that we should be thankful for. I'm also thankful for my family, for my friends, for my husband of 50 years. Who would have known that we would have made it 50 years? Such a blessing. And each day that I get up, I am thankful for being able to get up, to have another day, another enjoying day with my family, with my friends, to go outside and listen to the lawnmowers that are going on or the trains that are going by. Those are blessings. So this year, as we finalize this year, think back on all the things that you were thankful for, for all the little blessings. And thank whomever you want, whether it be God or whomever, please say a thank you prayer. 
and bless those who are around you, that they may have another day of blessings. As always in this tumultuous world, where wars are going on around us, where we are involved or not, may we bless those who are fighting for freedom. Let us bless those who are engaged in fighting for a worthy cause, whether it be life, whether it be cancer, whatever that cause. So as always, I wish you peace. Hello from Marty Fine Art Studio. It's that time of year again when Marty reveals his annual Christmas painting and starts filling orders for the limited edition note card sets. This year's painting, titled God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, is the first watercolor of the holiday series. It features two bull moose lounging in a thicket of willow reeds at the base of a snowy mountain range. A perfect greeting to wish all of your friends a relaxing, peaceful holiday season. Were you hoping to reorder last year's Christmas card? Well, you're in luck. A few sets remain, so why not add one to your order? The high quality 5 by 7 inch cards come with envelopes in sets of 15 for $30. To order, click the link in Marty's newsletters or shop online at martinlawrencemccormack.bandcamp.com. Click on the Merch button and select your quantity. As always, thank you for supporting Marty Fine Art. Have a great holiday season. This episode of Jen's Garden begins in a far corner which is not seen from any windows of the house. The back shed, which is almost completely covered with ivy. Moving along the back fence, we see the Australian red cedar, a tree with a main trunk surrounded by many saplings. The bird bath is surrounded by seaside daisies next to a large single may bush. The gate opening into the courtyard from the front path shows the wisteria and jasmine along the open side of the garage in full bloom. Trees here are still to open their leaves. The hellebores under the honey locust tree have almost finished flowering. This area leads to the bowerbirds domain where he and his friends enjoy playing around the bower and decorating it with blue items. The last path shown leads to the back of the house. A variety of shrubs and many clumps of agapanthus grow here.
returning to the veranda area again, we end with a closer look at Diosma and behind it, a snow bush in flower. New plants in the garden which display silver foliage. seconds out cute. Oh, it's Are you blowing them with the wind? <laughs> oh, it's big leaves. Big leaves? Wow. Mr. Murray fans, Mary Jo and Marshall wishing you a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Remember, Thanksgiving is for the four F's. Family, friends, food, and football. Well, at least in our house it is. But we just want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, a very blessed Thanksgiving for you and yours. So, Thanksgiving. This is sort of going to be the sequel to what I talked about, what was it, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, about kindness. Think of that one as rubber sole and this one as revolver. If you don't get the reference, look it up. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a compound word that is derived from two simple words, thanks and giving. So, let's break it down and put it on its head. Thanks. What are you thankful for? Think about what you're thankful for when you're sitting around the Thanksgiving table, gorging yourself with turkey and cranberries and stuffing and kugel, if you're going to a Jewish Thanksgiving. Um, what are you thankful for? I know every night when I come home and I get home and I close the door, the first thing out of my mouth is grateful because I'm grateful for shelter and Right over there is Lake Michigan, and I'm grateful that I get to live one block from Lake Michigan. Some of the things I'm, a couple of the things I'm grateful for. The other half of the word is giving. What are you giving? Do you give of yourself? And if you do, how? Here's a fun familial exercise for you to do, either before, during, or after you've gorged yourself with the aforementioned uh, culinary delights. Go around the table and everyone speak to what they're thankful for and what they're giving. How are they giving of themselves? Me, my mission is to contribute to a world of love and empathy by listening with love and empathy. I do it every single day. In my line, my line of work, I have to. Uh, but that's what I do. That's how I give of myself. So try that. You don't even have to do it at Thanksgiving. Try it at any time. If you're sitting around with family or friends, what am I thankful for? And how am I giving of myself to others so maybe I can help them be thankful? Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Today, I will be sharing what I'm grateful for and thankful for during the weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, gosh, there's so much. Um, I'm grateful for my family. 
they're always there for me. I'm grateful for my wonderful friends that I talk their ear off on a regular basis and they still listen no matter what. And I'm grateful for everything that I have. Um, the condo that I live in, thank goodness for my very generous parents and sister and brother-in-law. Because of them, I wouldn't have any of this. Um, and I'm just extremely grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm able to go to work. I'm able to walk. I'm able to get out of bed, take my showers, take care of myself. A lot of people don't have those luxuries. And those are things that a lot of us take for granted. So that's number one, my health. Number two, my family, my wonderful friends. And I love the holiday season. And I am very grateful on Thanksgiving, but I'm also grateful for everything all the wonderful blessings that I have all year long. So thank you and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And now a word from Australia. Hello, Mr. Marty fans. I just want to share with you my latest piece of merchandise from Mr. Marty's collection. It's a beautiful CD called Birds of Prey by Switchback. I find it very relaxing and it's lovely background music. In fact, I'm just relaxing now on this hot Australian afternoon uh, listening to it now. I'll play you the first, a bit of the first song so that you can get an idea of what it's like. <laughs> Marty fans, it's Kate Vogel here, and I want to talk to you today about Abraham Lincoln's Thanksgiving Proclamation. In July of 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg resulted in more than 50,000 American casualties. Despite these losses, the United States gained a great victory during these three days. On October 3rd, 1863, with this victory in mind, as well as its cost, President Lincoln issued a proclamation. I do therefore invite my fellow citizens in every part of the United States to set apart and observe the last Thursday of November next as a day of thanksgiving. And I recommend to them that while offering up the ascriptions justly due to him, they do also with humble penitence for our national perverseness and disobedience, commend to his tender care all those who have become widows, orphans, mourners or sufferers in the lamentable civil strife in which we are unavoidably engaged. And I fervently implore the interposition of the almighty hand to heal the wounds of the nation and to restore it as soon as may be consistent with divine purposes to the full enjoyment of peace, harmony, tranquility, and union. Many other presidents had created days of thanksgiving, George Washington, James Madison, John Adams among them. But Abraham Lincoln, during this time of civil war, sees fit that we need a national day of thanksgiving. And he gives us very specific instructions that we are first to thank each other for the bits of industry that we provide each other, keeping trains running on time, keeping groceries and grocery shelves. And then he says that we need to thank God for the things that are beyond our control, things like good weather and bountiful harvests. But he says a third thing 
that we not only need to thank our Almighty, but we need to commend Him on the excellent care that He takes of widows, orphans, mourners, and sufferers that we've created with our civil strife. That we've created casualties of our causes that are now commended to His care. I hope that we all on this Thanksgiving can say a bit of thanks for taking care of any refuse we may have created with our righteousness. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Marty fans. I hope you enjoy your time with your family and remember to thank each other and thank the Almighty. Thanks for watching the show, the Mr. Marty Show, the Mr. Marty Show, the Mr. Marty Show.
And for that, I say, <coughs> thanks for watching the show. And also the happy Thanksgiving, because today is Thanksgiving, and I hope that you get to spend a lot of time with your families. But anyway, thank you. And good night. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Really? Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble. Okay, I don't understand this. Why do you like the night? And happy Thanksgiving. Good night. Love you.